everyone, it's your friend Think Noodles, and welcome to Ask Think episode number 58 for Monday, July 15th, 2013. And you're probably wondering how many comments were on the last episode, and WidGCB got it right. It was the most comments ever with 3,853, and Jorge Vasquez got the closest with guessing 3,845 comments. Now, before we get to the questions, please leave your question in the comments below so I can have something to answer next week. Remember, only one question per comment, but you can leave as many comments as you like. Also, if the comments are closed on this episode of Ask Think, go to the most recent episode of Ask Think and ask your question there. All right, now on to the questions, and the first one is from Arnel Besic, and it asks, do you wear shoes in your apartment? No, we don't. We actually take them off as soon as we come inside. New York City is kind of a dirty place, so it makes sense to take your shoes off, as most people do in New York. All right, the next question uh, was sort of answered, and I thought it was funny, so here we go. Think, if you don't answer, I'll take Kobe and all her noodles. One question, what do you look like? And the Think Noodle fan club says, crazy white hair, rose glasses, no nose, and Einstein, like, wait, 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 no, 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 that's his pop chop again, lime green feathers, and an orangish beak, baldness, no, 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 that's his penguin. All right, I got it right this time, shaggy black hair, green eyes, a no nose, a short beard that goes the length of his face and connects to a mustache and a diamond, wait, 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 that's his Minecraft skin. Okay, now I have it. Green Green eyes, short brown hair, a goatee, and a nose. <laughs> yes, that is correct. X Real Gaming X asks, "What do you think your old self with zero subscribers would do if someone came from the future around today and told them that they would have ninety thousand subscribers?" I totally would not believe them. Ailita Stones Hover Twenty asks, "What really makes you want to answer a question? I know it has to be original, but what makes it stand out?" And uh, really, being original is what makes it stand out. I go through every single one of the comments and read them all. And uh, if it's something I really, really, really want to answer uh, because I think it'll add value to the video or give you guys something, uh, a tip or something about me or just something entertaining, that's what makes me choose the comment. McGlynn134 says, I just noticed in your icon, you're eating with your left hand. Did you ask the artist to do that because you're left-handed or did you just realize that now? I didn't realize that until you pointed it out. It's a coincidence. Yopo Full asks, do you like Mythbusters? And Gartnerin1234 says it's the best show ever. And Gartnerin is right. It is the best show ever. The next person says, think, answer this now. Whatever, do a draw my life for the next sub milestone. And I think that's what I'm going to do. I, I posted on Twitter and said, what do you guys think if I do a draw my life for 100,000 subscribers? And I got some pretty good feedback. So that's my plan, unless I'm really bad at it. I'm going to go pick up a whiteboard today and, and do some practice and see how it all works out. And if it works out well, that's what I'll be doing. If not, I'll have to think of something else. 1999 Blue asks, what do you think of the Mech Mice beta? Well, I played it when it came out uh, last Tuesday, I think, and I didn't play it for very long. It didn't hold my attention, and I didn't find any way of making the content entertaining for you guys on video, so I don't think I'll be adding any Mech Mice videos to this channel for sure, maybe to the Think Noodles 2 channel, but I really, really can't find a way to make it entertaining, and it really lost my interest quickly, uh, but it's a beta, so we'll see what happens when it comes to full release. Super Luigi 6425 asks, when you first began any of your games, did you dislike any of them at first? Huh, <laughs> that's an interesting question. No, I really didn't dislike any of the games, because if I did, you guys would probably tell, and I wouldn't do videos on them because I wouldn't find them fun. However, when I first played Minecraft, the Think Noodles 20,000 subs tries to play Minecraft, I got a pretty bad response initially from the video, even though I had fun making it and I had fun playing it. And afterward, I was like, wow, this is a really cool game. Let me try it out. And I started practicing a little bit and, and um, reading about Minecraft and learning how to play it. And obviously, you know what happened. But when I first did that video, I got such a bad response that I was pretty close to not doing another Minecraft video because 
a lot of people kind of hated it. And I thought it was funny that I was so bad at it, and that's why I put it up. Uh, but a lot of people really didn't like that. So uh, I almost didn't do Minecraft because everybody seemed to hate it at first. But obviously, you know what happened, and everybody likes it, so that's great. <laughs> Roblox reviewer 9001 says, is it annoying when people yell first comment? No, I know you guys like to do that and I like to congratulate you. It's kind of a game that uh, it's pretty common across all YouTube videos and uh, it doesn't bother me one bit. Pinkie Pie says, Thick, did you ever have a phone when you were little? Um, hmm. well, when I was little, there weren't cell phones. My parents didn't have cell phones. There weren't any. Uh, I did when I was, um, I think I was a junior in high school. So 11th grade, uh, I got my own phone line. Uh, that was a big deal. Uh, back when I was a kid, nobody had cell phones, but uh, you were cool when you got your own phone line. You didn't have to use your parents' home phone line. You got your own home phone line in your room that your friends could call you directly instead of having your mom or your sister or your dad answer the phone. Jman9395 asks, do you have good memory? Um, I bought some pretty expensive memory. It was supposed to be top of the line for my iMac, so I think it's pretty good. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I know what you meant, and I think I have a pretty good memory. So the next few people ask a few questions about Minecon and uh, whether I'll uh, let you guys know what I look like and how will you guys know it's me and where do you buy Minecon tickets. First of all, I think you buy Minecon tickets online. I've never bought any myself uh, and they haven't announced the prices or the date that they'll go on sale or how to buy them, but I assume that you'll be able to buy them online uh, and they should go on sale within the next few weeks. Uh, but I will let you guys know what I look like before I go and I'll show you guys what I'll be wearing so that you guys can recognize me and I'll set up meet and greet times and locations and all that stuff. So don't worry, don't worry. <laughs> You'll find me if you're at Minecon. Patrick A says, what would you do if someone copied you? Well, a lot of people copy ideas online. I mean, you can't copyright an idea and I'm totally okay with that if someone were to imitate me or duplicate some of my videos. I mean, not take my videos and my voice. That's, you know, that's copyright infringement. But, you know, if they took my ideas and used them or even did something better with them, I would be flattered. And speaking of copyrights, the next person asks whether I've gotten a copyright notice on any of my videos. I have. Uh, basically, I buy approaching Nirvana's music because it's royalty free, although they had a problem with one of the songs that they entered into a contest and I happened to have used that or part of that song in one of my videos or a few of my videos, actually some pop tropical walkthroughs and there were some copyright issues, not just with me, with a lot of YouTube publishers based on that song. Uh, they've been resolved and it's no big deal, but uh, it was worrisome at the time. I, Danny Kid, asks, why do you like the Los Angeles Lakers? You should support the Knicks because you're from New York. Well, I spent about 10 years in California, and that's when I really started to like NBA basketball, so that's why I like the Lakers. Shadow Wizard 1000 asks, what's your job and how do you do it? I know you told us what your job is, but I accidentally forgot it, so please put this on Ask Think. This is my job, so I hope you don't forget again, and this is how I do it. I mean, I do videos. <laughs> Jonathan Samuel asks, why don't you do Twitch live streams very much anymore? Uh, well, I mean, I will do them starting soon. Uh, I, I really, really do need to do a lot of things in my survival let's play, and they suit live streams, uh, just, you know, preparation before the next episode, you know, uh, like you're seeing here where I'm putting up the wall around the village, expanding the walls a little bit, making them taller. We're going to make an awesome wall for this. I mean, we're going to have like... Uh, guard towers and you're gonna be able to walk across the middle of the wall and it's gonna have ladders and all kinds of cool stuff uh, that kind of stuff is great for live streams this kind of building thing which doesn't you know do very well on a let's play other than me saying look this is what I did and here it is it's cool let's go do something more fun and uh, yeah I will start doing them soon again Mastermind 426 says, I've heard of Kopi so many times. What does she look like? That's really easy. Just go to my channel and go to my playlist and you can find the Kopi playlist. There's only a couple of videos there and I do plan to add more because I've been getting a lot of requests for Kopi videos. So watch for that soon.
Kibster9 asks, do you hire people to make your thumbnails or do you make them yourself? I make them myself, although the avatar that you see on my recent thumbnails was made by an artist that I did hire. John Schindler asks, how do you pronounce data? Uh, well, I just answered that, but uh, he says data or data. And yeah, of course I say data. Jakers 5 c asks, do you go to Times Square a lot just for the fun of it? No, <laughs> you'll find that most New Yorkers avoid Times Square like the plague. Uh, I, I only go there when I have to because it's just so crowded. And, and for a New Yorker to say some place is crowded, it means it's really, really crowded. <laughs> Aish Fisher asks, what do you usually eat for breakfast? If your answer is cereal, then what do you put in the milk or the cereal first? Well, I don't eat cereal usually for breakfast, but I wanted to address the second part of that question. People put the milk in first and then the cereal? That's just weird. <laughs> Chloe Boys asks, hey, think I have stage fright, but at my school at the start of the school year, they're having my favorite play and I want to audition for the lead. What do I do? Well, you should just go for it. Uh, you might be surprised, but I was always nervous at presentations. And uh, I remember I took a public speaking class as part of my undergraduate major in college. And I would say the first half of the class, I was totally frightened and uh, really not very good at it, which is surprising because that's kind of what I do. I mean, I'm not standing in front of you guys on stage, but, you know, I'm always... I guess, performing uh, speeches and public speaking and I, I guess kind of like an actor in a play, that sort of thing. And uh, I am very comfortable with it now. And that just comes from experience. So that's what you're going to have to do is just go for it. And uh, if you don't make it this time, just keep going and keep trying. And as you get more experience, you'll get better at it and you'll lose the stage fright. Amelia Valera says, hey, thing, knock, knock. Who's there? Woo. Woohoo! Why are you happy? Oh, right, you have almost 100,000 subscribers. <laughs> You're right. Pixar fan 8080 asks, what is the worst movie you've ever seen? <laughs> That's an easy one. Uh, it, it's, it's kind of a thing that I have with my dad. We've always, uh, we've watched it a few times. The movie is called Killer Clowns from Outer Space, and that's Killer K clowns like not c-l-o-w-n-s it's k-l-o-w-n-s and it is a terrible 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 movie but it's kind of one of our favorites because it's so bad 43 c-i-r-e asks hey think how do you break horrible habits i bite my nails and i always say no i'm just kidding after i say something to people even though i'm really not kidding and other habits like that please help i don't know <laughs> i have a hard time myself I've found that I say the word actually a lot in my videos. In fact, on the previous Let's Play, I think I said actually about, I don't know, eight times in the first two to three minutes. Uh, when I watched it back, I realized that and I was like, oh my goodness, I have to stop saying that. So I'm probably not the best person to ask. Although I would say if there's something that you do and you do it in front of other people, tell your friends to, I don't know, not hit you very hard, but kind of, you know, get your attention so that uh, they can let you know that you're doing something that you don't really quite know you're doing. And if they do it enough, you'll probably stop. James Linton asked, do you think, have you been to New Zealand? No, I haven't. But we're trying to plan a vacation for, I think it's in February. We're not sure just yet. Her job hasn't given her her block schedule yet, so we're not quite sure when it's going to be, but it's going to be February or March, and New Zealand is one of the places on the list. Hero City CP asks, is Kopi the only golden retriever in New York? <laughs> no, 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 no. She's, I mean, the breed is rare in New York because you don't see big dogs very much here, and Kopi seems to think she's the friendliest, prettiest golden retriever in New York, if you'd have to ask her. But uh, yeah, we see them very rarely. I'd say when we go walking, I'd say out of every 10 walks, we'll see another golden retriever once. Fan Buscus asks, think, can you not visit Igloos on Think Thursday? It takes too long for everyone to get postcards. Um... I really, really, really like visiting your igloos because you guys are so creative with the designs and I'm putting messages in them and it's really, really fun for me and fun for you guys. Um, I mean, 
depends. That's what I usually do near the end of Think Thursday. I stop visiting igloos and just start sending postcards, especially when I'm in my own igloo. Uh, but uh, I, I really, really like visiting your igloos. Although you're right, it does take a lot longer. BKNCB asked, did you know when you wear the silly body costume, your penguin is huge? It was funny when I wore my puffle with it. It was a penguin-sized puffle. Too funny. I haven't tried it with a puffle. Of course, I have tried it myself, and it does make you huge, but I didn't realize that it made your puffle bigger, too. Sherbert1321 asks, who's your favorite Star Wars character? If Club Penguin sold that costume in the catalog, would you buy it? My favorite Star Wars character, I would think, is R2-D2. And I know that's really weird, but he's a funny little robot. And uh, that kind of makes him my favorite. And I hope they are going to give out that costume or sell that costume. And I'll definitely buy it. Erica Esk asks, what's the maximum number of postcards you can have in your mailbox? I think it is 20. Doris1907 asks, who do you want to be meetable in the future in CP? For example, Klutzy, Testbots, etc. Klutzy would be a great meetable mascot. Mighty Leonard asks, are you ever going to make a fan mail address where people can send you letters and stuff and you can send your autograph back? Yeah, I do plan to get a P.O. box. I still haven't set it up. I got to go to the post office and get that done. And when I do, I will add the address to my thinknoodles.me website. Ian Jones asked, have you ever played COD? And if so, which one did you play? I've played all of them since Modern Warfare 2. Uh, that was the first COD I ever played and the first one I ever bought. And ever since then, I've bought every one after that. McGlynn134 says, make new armor in Minecraft Survival. Your armor's wearing down. You have tons of diamonds. You should use them. You're right. Uh, <laughs> my diamond armor is pretty much all broken and I'm using iron armor now. Uh, I took off the good stuff and stuck it into my ender chest just before it broke. And I'm waiting until I get the hundred levels and then I can show you guys that. And then what I'll do is I'll fix that armor because it's going to cost a lot of XP to fix that armor because it's got Unbreaking 3 and Protection 4 and all that stuff. And it's great enchanted armor. And uh, that's what I want to do. So that's why I'm waiting it out. Don't worry, guys. I will put the diamond armor back on. Jordana Garland asks, in Minecraft, how do you know a block is silverfish? Because it so, looks so much like a stone brick block. And Jordana hasn't had a cronut yet. But guess what, Jordana? I had one last Sunday. Uh, that would be, I guess, July 7th. I waited in line for about two hours, and it was awesome. So anyway, as for your question, the stone brick block, uh, you can tell based on your pickaxe. If you have a very efficient pickaxe, like an efficiency three or efficiency four diamond pickaxe, and you're mining the stone brick, if it goes quickly, it's not a silver fish. If it takes longer than the other stone bricks, that is a silverfish block. Quan Mai asks, have you ever seen B00's Season 3 SMP mine entrance from Mine Wars? The fireplace thing, can you please, please, please add that for your underground base? I haven't seen it, but I made a note to go check it out and I'll see what I can do. Jeff Buspi asks, do you ever play Death Swap with anyone else except Grazer10? Um, not yet. But we have run it by a couple of people to do a multiple person death swap, like a three or four person one. So we might be doing that in the next few weeks. So uh, look out for it. Lizby said, a lot of people consider you a Minecraft pro. Would you consider yourself one too? And I just corrected that because I think that was an autocorrect thing. No, I don't. Uh, <laughs> I don't think I'm very good at it. I mean, no, I, I'm pretty good at Minecraft. I, 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 I say I'm okay that's it i'll say i'm okay at it definitely not a pro there are other people that i would consider pros and i am not anywhere near on their level the next person asks how old do you think someone should be to play minecraft the youngest age someone should be i think uh, you know as long as you're old enough to play the computer i think it's great to play single player minecraft any age at all however I think that someone should be quite a bit older before they play multiplayer only because of the people you run into on multiplayer are older and sometimes they aren't so nice in the chat and they say things that probably someone younger shouldn't be reading and that's the only reason I think someone should be older to play multiplayer but as far as single player, any age. 
Hannah Roca asks, why do you always place your torches to the left in Minecraft? I follow the mantra of left to the depths and right to the light, which means left goes down further into the cave and right goes out, and that makes it easier for me to navigate. Sierra Frank asks, hey, Vink, how many horses will you get when you upgrade to 1.6? A lot, I think. <laughs> I'm going to grab quite a few of them, although it's going to be a long transport back home. But I'm going to get quite a few because I want to breed them until we can get a fast horse that jumps high and has a lot of health. So it might take a while to get what we want out of it. I'm going to build a little racetrack and everything so we can time them and see who's is the fastest and all that stuff. So it's going to be quite a few horses. Miss Cool Cookie asks, hey, Vink, what food do you think looks the yummiest on Minecraft? Huh, I would have to say pumpkin pie. Yeah, definitely pumpkin pie. G's Gaming says, I wish you were in Minecraft. Me too. <laughs> Jman9395 asks, have you ever won a Hunger Games by yourself? Yes, I have. A couple of times, maybe uh, four or five times all by myself. And I might have even filmed one. So you may want to look out for that. Blue19003 TV says, I'm really bad at Hunger Games. Do you have any advice? Yes. Two things. One, uh, you may want to, if you're really bad at it and you're bad at clicking on the chest quickly, avoid the cornucopia at the middle at the beginning. Just run away. Uh, that way, you know, if you're if you don't think you're gonna get anything from the chest, don't even bother and just run away and go find other chests. Now, the second part of that is learn the maps. Um, play them quite a bit, and you'll learn the terrain and you'll learn where a lot of the chests are. And that way you can run away from spawn, go grab a chest, and you'll be at a much better advantage and it'll be far away from people. Andrew Fan says, think on Minecraft, do you change the controls or do you just try to get used to the controls set for you? I tried to get used to the controls and mostly have. Uh, one key that I did change, the only key that I changed was the Q key. I changed it to the R key uh, and that's the drop button <laughs> because what happens is when I'm playing a game and someone startles me, for some reason, my middle finger, which is on the W key, sort of moves over to the Q key. I don't know how, but it does. And uh, if someone startles me, I end up dropping my weapon. <laughs> so I moved it to the R key so I don't accidentally hit it. Ahmed Ali says, hey, Think Noodles, when are you going to give us your Minecraft World Save episode 53? There's only 50, so please put this on Ask Think. Um, I don't do the World Save updates every episode. I usually do them every five to ten episodes. So maybe, uh, maybe around episode, I don't know, 55 to 60, that's when I'll update it again. Mireya Fuentes says, hey, Think Noodles, guess what? I just wasted 10 seconds of your life. <laughs> Thank you for that. Thank you very much. <laughs> Sparta the Minecraft says, if there's something strange in the neighborhood, who are you going to call? No, not the Ghostbusters. Think noodles. <laughs> Tom likes soup says, if your channel is think noodles, I'm guessing you like soup. Do you like soup? Well, I guess you like soup since you've got mushroom stew as your uh, Avatar, and it's Tom Like Soup, and yes, I do like noodle soup. Nidavo says, hello, Think, how you doing? Can you show your face? Oh no, two questions, I'm gonna go to jail. Well, since I'm already in the life of crime, what you doing, and how are you? Ha <laughs> ha, four questions. B Minecraft Ninja says, I just realized you don't have outros on your Ask Thinks. Are you sure? Because, wow, I think I hear the outro music starting right now. Yeah. I do! <laughs> no, I just added one. You're right, I didn't before. That's it for this week's Ask Think. Please leave your question in the comments below. I'll see you guys again soon. Thanks for watching, and of course, noodle on!